$40,000. That's what the victim of a violent home invasion is offering to find the man who beat her with a gun and stole her jewelry. Delicia Cordon is speaking out for the first time since the crime made national headlines back in July. And she's still pointing the finger at her famous ex-boyfriend, NFL player LaShawn McCoy. Fox host Portia Bruner is live in the newsroom with details. Portia? Well, Delicia Cordon says she is offering the large reward because she is wants to receive... I have panic attacks. I can't sleep at night. I can't. Delicia Cordon says she cannot shake the terror of being pistol whipped and robbed at the home of her ex-boyfriend. Buffalo Bills player LaShawn McCoy. I live my life in fear every day, not knowing if I'm walking past the man who savagely attacked me. With her attorney, her private investigator, and others at her side, including the cousin who was with her the night of the attack, Ms. Cordon spoke publicly Friday for the first time since the violent July 10th home invasion. She says a man entered the house at 3 a.m., but did not use force to get inside the Milton home. A masked man stood on my bed over top of me, striking me in my face and my head numerous of times with a pistol, while demanding specific items of jewelry that had been given to me by LaShawn McCoy. Although Milton police say the case remains under investigation and no suspects have been identified, Cordon says she is certain her ex-boyfriend is connected to the crime. To be clear, very clear, I believe that LaShawn McCoy was involved in the attack. A claim he is denied on social media. McCoy and his attorneys have not responded to our requests for a comment. He's reportedly declined to talk to Milton police as well. Milton police say all of the parties who did give statements gave conflicting statements about what happened that night. They also noted, quote, multiple material inconsistencies. Meantime, Cordon says she is personally offering a $40,000 reward to turn in the suspect and restore her sense of peace. I'm going to always be in fear. I'm going to always look over my back. I'm going to always feel like someone's trying to get me. I'm going to always feel like I'm being followed. Cordon says she is putting up half of that reward money herself. She says the other half came from friends who've taken up donations to help her since this crime. At the live desk, I'm Portia Bruner, Marissa.